It's so great to see Mega Evolution finally coming back. Well, Beedrill can actually do stuff again, but as cool as Megas may look, lots of them are pretty dangerous for the Pokemon themselves. When Aerodactyl Mega evolves, it starts to hurt because of the sheer amount of Mega Energy it's taking on. That's kind of fair considering it's a prehistoric Pokemon granted with this relatively modern power. I guess this is the Pokemon equivalent of giving a Victorian era child a talkie. Laylee's gaping mouth might look super scary at first, but actually it can't really use it because its jaw's broken. And worst of all, not being able to eat anymore just makes it sad. Is it really worth it? Kangaskhan and her newly Mega Evolved child are fine physically, so instead she gets hit with mental anguish. Her child is only good at fighting, so she's always worried about their future. Yeah, I mean, they could always go back into the competitive scene. Mega Houndoom gets some really stylish red toenails, but as it turns out, not stylish at all. Its claws are red hot, so hot that they're melting from the inside. Um, how about a burn heal? There's even stuff like Caesar's clamps being too heavy to carry, or Tyranitar's back splitting. Meanwhile, Altaria is just chilling, I guess. But truthfully, all of this comes from the Alola decks, and we all know how Rodom can be sometimes.